almost everybody knows that Japan has achieved high levels of support for research and development. This achievement has enabled Japan to produce advances in automotive engines, television display technology, video games, and many other fields. If you want to be a part of this ongoing development and start working in Japan, you will need a Japan work visa. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. Waste no time and subscribe to our channel because I'm about to tell you all you need to know about Japan work visas, their requirements, qualifications, the application process, and other related details. Back to video two. First, Japanese work visa types. In general, there are three types of Japanese work visas. Number one, the regular Japan work visa. This visa is for jobs such as uh, professors and artists. Number two, Japan highly skilled professional visa. This visa grants more advantages and a longer stay to visa holders. Number three, Japan Working Holiday Visa. This visa is issued to citizens of countries that have a holiday contract with Japan. Now, who needs and doesn't need a Japanese work visa? There are no exceptions for getting work visas. All applicants must obtain a long-term visa. Therefore, all foreigners, regardless of their home country, need a work visa to work in Japan. What are the eligible jobs for a Japanese work visa? Number one, artists such as composers, poets, sculptors, etc. Number two, business managers. Number three, international service specialists such as uh, you know humanities specialists, foreign language teachers, uh, designers, engineers, etc. Number four entertainers like actors, musicians, singers, dancers, sport persons, and yeah, that's it. Number five, instructors and teachers in primary, secondary, and high school. Number six, intra-company transferees. Number seven, journalists uh, such as editors, news cameramen, speakers, announcers, etc. Number eight, legal and accounting services such as lawyers, public accountants, and tax accountants. Number nine, medical services such as physicians, dentists, pharmacists, nurses, etc. Number 10, nurses. Number 11, professors like university professors and assistant professors. Number 12, religious workers such as monks, bishops, missionaries, etc. Number 13, researchers. Number 14, technical interns. Number 15, skilled workers and experienced workers such as foreign chefs, animal trainers, pilots, sports coaches, or foreigners who specialize in a specific industrial fields and so on. Please remember that if you are unsure as to what category you fall under, you should contact the visa section directly to save time and avoid confusion. Now, what are the required documents to obtain a Japanese work visa? Number one, the eligibility certificate. To receive a certificate of eligibility, you must send your documents to your employer. The employer can apply for this certificate through immigration services. Number two, the Japan work visa application form that is completed and signed. Number three, a valid passport with a copy of it. Number four, photo. It should be three by four centimeters taken in the last three months with a white background. Your face in the photo must be completely visible. Number five, documents detailing the job position, company name, salary, and length of work. Number six, previous academic and work experiences. Number seven, documents related to the company, including company registration, profit and loss statement, and yeah, that's it. Number eight, artists must show documents to confirm their achievements. Number nine, religious workers must provide details of their religious organization. Documents related to your religious position must also be provided. Number 10, researchers must provide their academic evidence. 
Number 11, researchers, instructors, and teachers must also provide their academic evidence and professional qualifications. Number 12, for intra-company transferees, documents showing the relationship between two companies should be submitted. In some cases, depending on the job position, other documents may be required. The Japanese consulate is allowed to request more documents. Now, what is the application process for a Japanese work visa? Step 1. Get an eligibility certificate. To enter Japan for non-temporary reasons, you need an eligibility certificate. The Japanese Immigration Service issues this certificate. In this case, your employer must apply for this certificate on your behalf. Having this certificate is a prerequisite to obtaining a Japanese work visa because it proves that the Japanese Immigration Service has issued approval for you. However, you must meet the requirements set by the Japanese government to qualify for a work visa. Step 2. Apply at a Japanese consulate. After the certification is issued, the employer will send it to you. You must then submit this document to the Japanese consulate along with the rest of your documents. You must first visit the nearest Japanese embassy. Some representative offices don't accept direct visa applications, which means you have to apply through an accredited travel agency or a visa application sent agency. Then, Collect the required documents for a Japan work visa. Documents required to obtain a work visa must be sent directly or through accredited travel agencies. You may need to submit more documents or you may need to attend an interview. Once your document processing is complete, you must return to the embassy and receive your passport. If the application is approved, a visa will be issued and you will be allowed to enter Japan. Now, how long is a Japanese work visa processing time? On average, the processing time for a work visa is three to five working days. But depending on the embassy you are applying from, the Japan work visa processing time may be longer. It also should be noted that the issuance of the eligibility certificate lasts three months. Now, what should you do after arriving in Japan? Once you arrive in Japan, a landing permit is issued for you. Besides, you need a residency card and a re-entry permit. You will need the re-entry permit if you intend to leave Japan and return there within a year, which you can obtain at the airport before you leave. If you travel to Japan via these airports, you will receive a residence card along with the landing permits. But if you arrive in Japan from other airports, you must go to the local municipal office where you will live in Japan to get a residence card. Now, how much does a Japanese work visa cost? You need to pay 3,000 yen for a single entry visa and 6,000 yen for a double entry or multiple entry visa. If the application is sent through travel agencies, uh, it may be necessary to pay more. Here's another question. How long is the validity of a Japanese work visa? Depending on several factors such as your job and the validity of your work contract, Japan work visas are issued for three months, four months, one year, three years and five years. If you meet the requirements regardless of the length of your stay in Japan, you can extend it before it expires if you meet the requirements. There's another question. How to extend a regular Japan work visa? Visa renewal is done through the local immigration office where you live and work. To renew your visa, you must provide, number one, Application form for the extension, it must be completed and signed. Number two, your passport and residency card. Number three, your photo. It should be three by four centimeters taken in the past three months and on a white background. Your face must be clear in the photo. 
Number four, you must prove that you can afford your household expenditures in Japan. Next one, number five, you must prove your continued employment. You must provide details about your job position, income, and contract. Company registration documents as well as documents related to annual income and tax payments must be submitted. Next question. Can you bring your family to Japan under a work visa? You, as a work visa holder, can sponsor your spouse and children to bring them through a Japan spouse visa. Now, one more question. Is it possible to change your visa status from other visas to a Japanese work visa? People with non-work visas, such as uh, you know, Japanese student visas, are not allowed to work in this country. To be eligible to work, they must first apply for a change of residence status at the local office of the immigration services. You need to submit your documents along with your residence card. It is necessary to send details about the job position, the amount of salary received, and the length of the work contract. The application fee for a change of residence status is about 4,000 yen, which is paid by the applicant. That was it. Now you can go and apply for a Japanese work visa with ease. I have a surprise for you. Since the steps and requirements of this visa were too many, I have made a cheat sheet for you to avoid confusion. Go to our article about this visa on our website and get it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified every time we make new videos. Thank you all for watching.